Hey guys, what's up? It's been quite a while since I've filmed and sorry about that. I just back here today with a holiday video and I wanted to tell you guys all the stuff that's on my wish list because if you guys don't know, I celebrate Hanukkah, like 98% of the world celebrates Christmas. So SEO was not my friend for this video, but we're just gonna keep going and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm asking for for Hanukkah for my parents. In case you guys wanted to know what I want or you guys want to get any ideas or inspiration for what you wanna ask for, um, that's totally fun too. I wanted to try to get this video up before December. That way everyone has time to plan out what they're getting and you know, send the list to their parents or Santa or whoever's getting you your gift. But I have a list on my phone and I've had this for a while called things I want. Don't know if it's really gonna focus because the phone's just so bright, but it's a list called things I want and I have a bunch of stuff on there just like random clothing things and some stuff I'm definitely not gonna get until next summer because I've really wanted to find black high-waisted shorts this summer and with the road trip and then with it turning into fall so soon after I went on the road trip, I was like, there's definitely no reason to invest another pair of shorts so those are gonna have to wait until next summer because no reason I need these right now regular things like socks and graphic tees those I could always use but they're not things that I really need for Hanukkah at the moment so that's just it's all my things I want list but it's not really necessary I guess as a Hanukkah gift Jessie I'm recording a video right now and her DM popped up in my phone so that was really nice I wanted noise canceling and I also wanted I guess just headphones to be able to edit with because I feel like those would be a little better with editing than AirPods. So we'll have to test that out, but I just kind of feel like those are going to be my editing headphones. I don't know what's making me think that, but I'll put a picture up on the screen and I have been wanting the desert sand headphones for at least a year now, but I don't know if you guys remember, I actually lost my AirPods last November. So I had to ask for a brand new pair, well not a brand new pair, but like a thrifted pair of AirPods for Hanukkah last year. So I never ended up getting my headphones, but now I've been very good and I haven't lost this pair, so I'm asking for my Beats. So I'll put a picture up of the desert sand, and I actually sent my mom a link to a store called Back Market that I found from Package Free. And Lauren, I always mess it up. It's either Laura or Lauren, but I'm pretty sure it's Lauren. Lauren Singer, I saw the website for that on Lauren Singer's phone or on her Instagram account. Sorry, my earrings are, I think I'm allergic to these. And that place sells everything from like Apple watches, headphones, um, MacBooks, PCs, everything, but secondhand. So I sent my mom the link to that so she could pick out the, well, I picked it out, but she was going to buy it. So thank you, mom, for that. This is something, oh, I did have beads on here. Okay, it was just under everything else. This next thing is something that has been just so confusing for me to be able to figure out if I want it or not. That is the collection of the Summer Fridays jet lag face mask and the butter balm, just like the regular chapstick, because one, it's like luxury stuff that you're putting on your face, it's like $50. And I think that's a ridiculous amount of money to spend on your face, but I've seen all these influencers use it, so of course I wanted to try it. And then the next thing that came into Jamie's mind was, can I recycle it? And I was like, well, I really don't think I can because just from the appearance of it, it doesn't look like it's really made out of that type of material. And then my friend brought to my attention the fact that they do have a little recycling program, but you have to have five used tubes in order to qualify to send your tubes back. So overall, it does not seem like the smartest decision um, just because I don't think I'd be helping the environment with it. And you guys know one of my top priorities for every single thing I purchase is that it has to be secondhand or it has to just be made well and have some good end of life turnaround, so that way I don't feel bad about throwing something out intentionally, if that makes sense. So I've been thinking about it and I was like, oh, all these influencers, but do I need it? I don't need it. Would I want it? Of course I want it. Am I gonna get it? Probably not, that's up to my parents, but I totally don't expect them to spend that much money on those two for me, but I mean, hey, if they did, I'd be thankful, but totally not necessary. The other thing I actually got for myself yesterday is you guys know my favorite podcast is Unsolicited Advice, and I think they did this purposefully where they planned their merch release right for the holidays. So they had their merch release last night, um, they told all of their fans that it was gonna go by super fast because they didn't know how much merch they they needed to stock up on since this was their first time doing it. So I went there super fast, got my shirt, 
Um, so that is definitely gonna count as a Hanukkah gift for me, just receiving that shirt from UA. So, I don't know. Those are two things that I've already gotten, the headphones and the shirt, but the shirt's probably not gonna come for another week, which is fine because Hanukkah totally is not until like mid-December anyway. I don't, I, I don't know when Hanukkah is. But that's another thing that I know I'm getting already just because I ordered it. I was on Adeline's site last night and she restocked her shirts that say treat others the way you wanna be treated, but hear me out. Ah, uh, freaking light. Um, beauty guru, help me. It's the treat others the way you want to be treated sweatshirt and it has little sunflowers on the seed on the seeds on the, the leaves So I really wish that this would work, but it's just not gonna happen looking at that because back in March I wanted to get um, An Adeline hoodie and I ended up getting the girl supporting girls blue hoodie Which I really love but that one was my first choice So if I was able to pick out another sweatshirt from a youtuber to get for Hanukkah It would definitely be this one because I like the sunflowers on the sides and I've learned that I'm just really a person who enjoys text or something on the sleeves or side of clothing because also The UA shirt that I got um let's see if I still have it on here I did take a picture of it, but I'm not sure where that picture went. I don't know, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it has little words. It says unsolicited and it says advice on the side, so I just think that's cool and that's why I got that one. Go back to our list. So the next thing I would want is another candle, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but <laughs> I got this candle for my birthday from my parents, so thank you for that. It says pumpkin bakery and she smells like a pumpkin bakery. She smells so good. I got this one when I was in Albany. Whoa, totally just got my sleeve super wet. That's fun. It's vanilla caramel. I know I say that weirdly, but whoa, wait. The candle is so far down now that I actually can't smell it. Well, it did smell good yesterday and then I burned it and now I can't even smell it because it's so far down, but this one was good too. I actually thrifted a Vanilla Bean Noel little one wick candle the last time I was here in quarantine. So I'm about halfway through that and that one smells really good. But hear me out. I want a candle that smells like the outdoors, that smells like a tree or that smells like a fire burning. So I went on to the Bath and Body Works website because that's where like all the candles are. And I found one that says Autumn Woods and I looked through all the comments and they pretty much said that it smells like you're outside on a nice fall day with the leaves and I was like cool that seems like what I want but also I went on Earth Hero because Earth Hero is just a more sustainable website and company overall and they had a bunch of candles I'll just name them off for you guys a spruce soy candle I just picked it because it says spruce then there's black fig soy candle log cabin soy candle and mountain peak soy candle so the one that caught my attention was the log cabin soy candle because if that doesn't straight up sound like it smells like the outside and like you're camping i don't know that just really caught my eye and i wanted to see what it was so if there's a way i could possibly get some type of earthy or outdoor i don't know outdoor smelling candle that'd be really great because i have my fall candle here I have my sweet candle here, and I have my classic Vanilla Bean Noel candle just because Vanilla Bean Noel is my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scent. But if I could get an earthy one, I would love that. On here, I also have that I would want maybe like a twisted peppermint candle from Bath & Body Works, or just any peppermint candle in general. But if I don't get that, I will probably just put some of my peppermint oil in my diffuser because I do have a diffuser at home that I got secondhand on Amazon and whenever I'm on my room to smell like peppermint, I can just, I don't know, <laughs> I can put that peppermint oil diffuser in. So no worries if I don't get that, but it would be cool. I have a few pictures on my phone of some earrings I want. I'm sure you guys already know because I've talked about it so much, but um, when I was in Seattle, I got my conch piercing. So that's this little one and I can actually touch it now because it's been two months since I got it. So yeah, she's fine, she's good. I really want, I wish, Okay, I hope you guys can see that. So it has little beads on it, and it's a conch hoop, and I think it's so cool. So this is the one that I would want. Um, I found this on Etsy because Amazon, I don't know, conch piercings are so specific that it's kind of like, I don't trust myself to be able to pick one out. So I was actually also talking to my friend in Ithaca, I remember, and she said to really only get your conch earrings when you're in the store that actually is like 
you could get your ear pierced at. I just really like this one because it's rainbow. And then I also found these other earrings on Etsy that I'm not crazy about. Like, I'll be fine if I don't get them, but they're really cool. So these ones are light bulbs. Tell me that's not super cool. And I'm actually upset. I've talked about this with my mom so many times, but I was on Etsy when I was in Seattle trying to look for earrings because I've been needing earrings for so long. I just haven't been home permanently and I won't really be home permanently. I'm only gonna be home for about a month. Then I'm going back to school. So I have not given myself a chance to actually buy earrings because I haven't been in a permanent location for so long. So I was like, nah, it'll just have to wait. Um, but they had these Shaka earrings on Etsy. If you guys don't know, this is the Shaka. And they were dangly earrings and I just really wanted them, but mm. Um, they stopped making them, but anyway. We would love to receive these earrings for Hanukkah, if possible, just because it'll be like my second little conch piercing hoop. This is gonna be really hard to see, but I'm pretty sure this is a conch piercing too, but I'm not sure. So Bethany Moda, I was never a huge fan of her, but she was definitely one of the first three YouTubers I discovered, and she just opened up a new jewelry line, perfect for the holidays, and this seems like a nice star conch piercing. Again, totally don't need it, but looks really cool. This was another picture of it, and this one's obviously a cartilage and not a conch, but it still looks pretty cool. All right, you guys, that was everything that I have on my list. I honestly thought that video would be a lot slower and I'd have a lot more to talk about, but I think I went over everything, and if I didn't, I will insert a clip in here somewhere telling you guys if there's anything else that I forgot to mention. But again, I'm super thankful for everything that I have gotten already because I'm pretty sure my mom already ordered the headphones and I know that I ordered the shirt from UA so I'm also thankful for anything else that I may be getting but I'm aware not to expect too much and I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving this video will be up on that Saturday and yes um, comment down below what you guys also want for Hanukkah or Christmas. I know like no one celebrates Hanukkah, but it's my favorite holiday, so had to plug it in there. And I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye!